Hello, Brian Myers with Winning Solutions again here to with a .NET Nuke tutorial. Today we're going to cover how to add a Facebook feed to your website. Um, we're going to start off by going to developers.facebook.com. You'll get a couple of options here. We're going to go into the web options. We're going to go over to core concepts on the left side and then to social plugins and it lists all the plugins that you can add to your website um, I'm just going to cover the main one which is which is a feed uh, which they actually refer to as a like box and over here on the plugins on the left side you'll see that the like box is about the fourth one down now it's giving us a preview like most other uh, social media plugins do or widgets as they call them um, and what we want to do is we want to get a feed from our WSI site which is Ames WSI and there you can see it updated and brought our feed into here and it looks like we got some people that like us here that's a good thing um, we have some options here we can set the height or the width we can decide whether we want to show faces which removes the uh, bottom uh, people that uh, have liked us which I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with that we've got some options here for either a light or dark uh, color scheme uh, we've also got the uh, option to hide our stream and just make a like button but I actually want this stream to show up in, in our website so I'll leave that on you can also set a border color and whether you want to show the header and you see it just took away our find us at Facebook header there so now that I've got my options set, I'm going to click get the code. And now we've got two sets of code here. One they want uh, is, is placed as JavaScript and actually makes the widget work. The other is the actual HTML that is going to be the place where uh, the uh, the feed is actually shown to you. You've also got some other options here for doing an iframe or a URL or some other display options, but I'm not going to get into those today. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start by uh, selecting all the code by Control A or right clicking and saying select all and getting the code from this top window. I'm then going to right click and copy that or you can press Control C. Then I'm going to go over to our development.net nuke website here. I'm going to go over to our news page and I am going to add a new HTML module. And we're going to call it Facebook. And we're going to add it to the right pane at the very bottom. Then it'll appear below our Twitter feed that we added in another video. Be sure to check that out and let's go ahead and click add module and now you see we've got our Facebook uh, HTML module here but uh, we need to do some place that code in there so what I'm gonna do is go over the manage button go to edit content um, actually I'm going to cancel out of this this is the code that we're pasting in so we're gonna go to manage and settings and what we're going to do is in the advanced settings, there's a place to put some header code or some footer code. And this appears uh, just before the container for the HTML module. And that's where I'm going to post my JavaScript code. So I've got that pasted in there. I'm going to go ahead and say update. And you'll notice we still don't have our feed. That's because we still need to actually get some more code here from from Facebook um, so now what we need is this actual code that's going to be where our uh, Facebook feed displays so I'm gonna come over here select all the text here by pressing control A and selecting copy from a right click you can also use uh, select all from the right click menu or you can also use uh, control C to select that text um, I'm going to click OK, and then I'm going to go back over to our development website here. I'm going to ma go to Manage, Edit Content, uh, go to the HTML view, delete the text that's there, and just paste in that text that we got from Facebook, and click Save. And now you'll notice we have our Facebook feed. 
that ends today's tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe or leave some comments of tutorials you would like us to cover. Um, be sure to check out the information in the uh, video description for uh, more information on how you can get support with your .NET Nuke website. And be free, feel free to friend us on Facebook. Give us a like. We would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.